offering only the finest in PC enthusiast apparel. Awesome Sauce shirts are not only threaded, they're hyper-threaded and come factory overclothed. Get yours today at the Awesome Sauce store. What's up guys? So today's video comes with a very sad announcement that I wish I didn't have to make. But in light of recent events, I'm currently in the midst of a breakup with a long-term partner of mine. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I had to come to this. I really... You've been so good to me, but I just... I can't do it anymore. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I just... There is one lucky laptop. That's right, I'm breaking up with my Asus G550 gaming laptop. It was my choice, albeit a difficult one. We had a good run for about a year and a half, which is around the time she started having performance issues in bed. Yeah! Yeah! What? 30 FPS? What's wrong? What? Don't you want to talk about it? Oh, fine! Go to sleep like you always do! As you can see, we'd been going through some real days of our lives shit, and just when I thought I couldn't bear the weight any longer, I met her. The MSI GS60 Ghost Pro. Now I know it's only been a week, but already she's opened my mind to these new ideas and made me believe that I'm worthy of being loved. So today I'm doing what one should never do in this situation, and that's make an online video comparing my new partner to my old one. Right off the bat, I should mention that the GS60 does have more expensive taste than the Asus G550, retailing for around $1,700. But when you look at the specs side by side, you can clearly see where that extra green has been spent. The Ghost Pro sports a new 6th gen Core i7 Skylake mobile CPU, twice the RAM capacity at DDR4 mind you, a 128GB NVMe SSD, and a GTX 970M with 3 gigs of GDDR5. The difference in spec alone here is a compelling proposition, and while I firmly believe that it's what's on the inside that counts, just take a look at how sexy this thing is, hot damn! With a width of just 0.7 inches, a full metal chassis, and brushed aluminum finish, this is one of the slimmest and most attractive gaming laptops in MSI's lineup. Now by no means is the G550 a whale at 1.1 inches thick, in fact I usually prefer more cushion for the mushin, but being extra thin and nearly 2 pounds lighter make the Ghost that much easier to handle on the go. Fixins on the left side include a Kensington lock, DC power, our only two USB 3, and audio jacks for mic and headphone. While I personally don't mind losing a USB port coming from the G550, this might be an issue for users looking to use the Ghost Pro as a desktop replacement by connecting an assortment of peripherals and external drives. On the right side is a killer E2400 gigabit LAN port, mini DisplayPort 1.0 and HDMI 1.4, an SD card reader, and a USB 3.1 Type-C connector that allows you to expand your screen real estate by daisy chain two 4K panels at 60 Hz, or you can quickly charge your mobile devices with 5 volts at 3 amps. At the front we find a row of LED indicators for things like battery life, Bluetooth, and AC Wi-Fi. The bottom plate can be removed to access the internal components, but for some reason one of the back plate screws is covered by an evil sticker that stands between me and a free world of beautiful hardware. It's like the Kim Jong-un of stickers. Under the hood, you'll find your hard drive, Wi-Fi module, RAM, and M.2 PCIe SSD, though you will have to do a bit of extra work to reach these last two components since they're mounted underneath the main PCB. Here you'll also find the 6-cell battery, which is really the Achilles heel of this device, yielding only 1 hour and 47 minutes of battery life at full screen brightness during general browsing, YouTube, and word processing. Switching over to straight gameplay, the battery only managed to keep the laptop alive for a measly 40 minutes. On the bright side, potential buyers of the Ghost Pro who don't plan on using a power brick 90% of the time can swap the battery out for a sweet potato giving you twice the power. Upon opening the lid, we're met with a 1080p webcam at 30fps and a 15.6 inch 1920x1080 IPS anti-glare display. Now although you won't find anything revolutionary about the screen quality, as it's right on par with the older Asus G550, colors are well represented with excellent contrast. As is often the case with IPS panels, my unit does suffer some heavy backlight bleed in the upper left region of the screen, which fortunately is only noticeable while viewing a dark scene in a dimly lit environment. One perk MSI brings to the table here is their True Color software, that's basically an enhanced version of a gaming monitor's on-screen display. From here you can select different color profiles for various tasks, and even assign profiles to specific applications. There's also an anti-blue mode to help reduce eye strain during prolonged use, much like the popular Flux software. At the base of the screen is an LED power button and what looks to be the system speakers at first glance, 
but these are simply ventilation holes for the internal hardware. Instead, MSI has smartly placed the two Dyn audio speakers at the front underneath the laptop that, in my opinion, does a better job of projecting the sound by bouncing off the desk surface. Adding to their list of included software, the Nahemic Sound Suite gives audio a significant boost that turns the once humdrum laptop audio into something that actually sounds pretty good. Sure, it still doesn't rival a basic Bluetooth speaker, and gamers will most likely have their headphones wired in anyway, but that doesn't change the fact that this is really the first time I've ever used the words sounds pretty good when referring to laptop audio. Among enhancements to your mic and stream audio, Nehemic also features customizable profiles to suit various forms of media playback. The virtual 7.1 surround is excellent for movies and gaming when paired with a good set of cans, and I love having the volume boost option in case I ever want to use a pair of high impedance headphones. Navigating the GS6 is both fluid and responsive using the touchpad to move, click, two-finger scroll, and pinch to zoom your way through Windows 10. It also features a slightly rough surface which does a nice job of adding some grip while keeping it dry to the touch. Just as superb is the chiclet-style keyboard from SteelSeries with laser-etched keys that's received the same tactile surface treatment as the touchpad. Goldilocks and I agree that key size and spacing are just right, and a solid travel distance makes gaming and typing a surprisingly comfortable experience for a laptop. While backlit keys are always welcome, SteelSeries has gone a step further and implemented RGB LEDs into the mix with a variety of lighting modes to choose from in their engine software. Unfortunately, you can't assign per-key lighting, but rather the program splits the keyboard into three separate zones that can then be configured to your liking. The software also lets you assign macros to virtually any key on the board and assign your profiles to launch with specific applications. Apart from the baked-in software we've already discussed, you get a simple MSI monitoring app and a one-year license of XSplit Gamecaster. Beyond that, you won't find much bloatware on the GS60, save for the obligatory antivirus program in the form of Norton. Consequently, MSI should have also thrown in a pop-up blocker. Now at this point in my review, it's safe to say that I'm already smitten by the Ghost Pro's outstanding design and feature set. But if there's one deal breaker when it comes to gaming laptops, it's when the device doesn't perform as expected. And that doesn't just go for gaming laptops. Fortunately, this puppy screams in almost every AAA title I tested, frequently topping 70 FPS on high settings and performing 55% better on average than my aging impotent lover. The biggest landslide victory was in Metro Last Light, where the Ghost Pro scored a whopping 69% higher average FPS. Now surprisingly, we actually saw higher minimum frames per second with the G550, but overall the gameplay experience between the two laptops is night and day, even if you do get some light screen tearing on both models. Now as expected, the faster Ghost Pro's 970M gets hotter than the G550's 850M, and this translates to a lot more fan noise and slightly higher GPU temps with my new squeeze. At the same time, the GS60 delivers much more effective CPU cooling, which kept the chip cool in the low 70s. Well-placed ventilation on nearly every side of the chassis also allows the fans to exhaust hot air without cooking your hands to a crisp. In closing, MSI has shown us once again why it's one of the best gaming laptop manufacturers in the business. There's really a lot that can go wrong when you're trying to cram a powerful gaming system into an oversized slice of bread. And while it's not perfect, the GS60 Ghost Pro delivers one of the smoothest high-end mobile gaming experiences on the market that's sure to satisfy hardcore gamers on the go. I'd also like to add that this would make for a killer editing laptop or a streaming laptop as well. As for the Asus G550, well, I can tell by the way she wakes when I touch her at night that she hasn't fully moved on. But with my new little minx in the picture, I don't ever plan on looking back. But that is gonna do it for now, guys. So let me know in the comments which gaming laptop you're currently rocking at home. And don't forget to toss me a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Before you guys go, check out the Awesome Sauce store where you'll find a brand new awesome hardware hoodie and a special holiday deal for 10% off your order if you spend over $50. That sounds really salesy, but it's true. Finally, don't forget to enter my 200K giveaway, which ends in just a few days for a chance to win a water-cooled R9390X. It's literally the coolest AMD card ever. Don't quote me on that. As always, I'm Cow with Awesome Sauce Network. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video.